Hi, this is Donna with the Happy Couponer Marketplace, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own 250 by 250 images if you don't want to use our images. This is one of the uh, coupon images that somebody has posted on the site right now. This image, I don't know if you can see it up here at the top, this image is only, I'm only showing you this at 26% of its real size original size. If you blow this coupon up to 100%, this you can't even see it on the whole screen. That's how huge this coupon is when they've loaded it to the site. This is how big it should be. 250 wide and 250 tall. This is how big this coupon should be. This right here that you see right here is at 50%. This is half the size of this coupon. And this is how big it should be when, when it's uploaded to the site. So, how do you get this big image into this small size? Well, some of you are just reducing this image size. It, again, it just depends on what um, software you're using for your images. But some of you are just going here and, let's say, Okay, I'm going to reduce it down 30% and see what that comes out. Well, there it is full size. It's still much bigger than this. So you reduce it again. Let's reduce it down 50 more percent. See what it comes out. Well, there that looks like it'll fit. It'll fit. Most of it'll fit. So you, you say, okay, I'm going to use this image because it's not, if you look at it, image information, it's only 186 pixels wide and 290 pixels tall. So that should be okay. No. First of all, it's got to be a maximum of 250 on all four sides. This is 290, and that's so that's too big. It also has to be a minimum of 250 on all four sides. This is only 186 pixels wide. We are looking for an image that is exactly 250 pixels wide, 250 pixels in height. A square image. Anything more or less. And the internal programming on the site has to work that much harder resizing the images so they appear properly on the website. And with over 4,000 images on the site, that's a ton of extra work that our that the mechanics inside the website have to do and that just slows everything down it might look like we're loading in split seconds but every every split split second you could shave off that time helps with our rankings in the search engines everything in our site is coded at the 250 by 250 so we want everything to be 250 by 250. So let's say you've reduced this down as far as you can possibly reduce it or as far as you want to reduce it, but it's still not 250. Create a new image. Use your software, whatever program you're using, to make a new background or a new image. You want 250 wide, 250 high. Okay, there's my new image. Um, my software uses layers. I'm going to merge them so you can see everything better. And now I have a 250 by 250 square. Whatever I want my image to be has to fit right inside here. If, if this is what you end up with, something that's an odd size, it's not square, it's rectangular, copy it, paste it in the square, and center it wherever you want it centered. And then save your image, save as Big G General Mills Coupon. Um, I talked about naming your images in the other video, so make sure you watch both of these videos. If you create this 250 by 250 background first and make it white, so it goes with the site. If you create this background first and then paste your image over top of it, you'll always have a perfect 250 by 250 image to upload to the site. Now let's say you're not doing 
uh, well, before we go to other images, is media files. I can see, I, I have access to every image that's uploaded on the site. Right now I've got it down to 6,268 images. And I can see who's entering pictures of coupons. And I can click through and I can see how large those pictures are. Some of them are 2,000 or 3,000 or 4,000 or more pixels wide or high. And that's just entirely too large. It's just, and then some people are entering images that they're trying, they're thinking that smaller is better. So they're entering images that are like 150 by 200. No, we want exactly 250 by 250. And that's what you need to do. Now let's say you don't want to use your uh, a picture of the coupon, you just want to use a picture of a product. I just go to Google and type in whatever the product is I want to use. I'm going to use the Newman Salsa again. Newman Salsa. Click on Images. And you see all these images here. Just pick whichever one you want to use. Put your cursor over that image. Right click. Copy image. Let's get rid of that coupon image. I have my blank square again. Right click. Paste as new selection. And it's right there. And then I can save it as Newman's own salsa coupon. And I can upload it to my listings. So it's not enough to just use an image that falls under that 300. Like this, let's try this one here. The Newman's logo. I don't, it's fine with me if you want to use the Newman's logo. But you need to look at the size of that image. It's only two fi it's 259 wide, first of all, which means it's a little bit too wide. And it's 195 tall which is too short. You want this image to be exactly 250 by 250. Copy it and paste it into this 250 by 250 square and that's how you can use that logo. As long as it's in the 250 by 250. I don't, I don't really care what your image is as long as it's appropriate for the site which means no you know, no porn or adult stuff. And as long as it's relevant for that coupon listing, use whatever image you want, but make sure it gets into this 250 by 250 size here. All you have to do is create a background image, create a new image, 250 high, 250 tall, new, and you've got your blank that you can work from. And then from there, just copy and paste, reduce whatever you need to, enlarge whatever you need to, and then copy it over top of this 250 by 250 background and save it that way. That way you know exactly what it's going to look like on the site, and it's the, the right size. And don't forget to name your coupon. No coupons with just image number one or image number three trillion nine hundred ninety nine million four hundred fifty one thousand no it's got to be Newman's salsa coupon Newman or I'm sorry Newman's own salsa coupon or Newman's own pasta sauce coupon or General Mills Big G cereal coupon and you need to watch the other video that's included in this message because they both have information you need Alrighty, that's it. Thanks and happy couponing. I hope that helps.